Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. My name is G, and we're going to go through the energies for the month of July. The celestial bodies up in the sky take us through beginnings and endings. And so we're going to start off talking about those endings and those beginnings with Aries. You have two new beginnings and one ending. Everything is just changing constantly, it seems like. And it's not small stuff. It's big stuff. So for Aries, you're no exception to this. You have beginnings and they occur with your home, with your family, mom energy. This could be the mother wound, significant females in your life, feminine energy. Doesn't even have to be a female. You know, you've got those males or others that you meet and they have some very warm, nurturing. They almost feel motherly in some way. There's a beginning. So when there's a beginning, you could meet somebody that's like that. You could possibly have someone who's in your life that just kind of steps in and takes over like maybe motherly duties. You may be the person who becomes a mother. You may be taking over and having these motherly duties. It can also be your home. It may not be you being mom or specifically mom in your life or those mom energy type of people, but maybe something in your home is changing. So the new beginnings usually come up off of endings. So what did you end in the month of June? What did you put a closure on? When you close that out, it begins this new cycle and it's family, it's emotions. I'm doing something different in my home. What I need, my emotional security establishing that, securing that, doing or buying and getting or making changes, whatever that you need to do to have home truly be a place of peace, of comfort, of safety. Home is where your first beginning is happening. Now that will happen right at the butt end of June. As we go into the month of July, July 13th-ish, you have an ending. It's kind of got that full moon vibe to it. So depending upon your personal chart, you may feel something a couple of days before. Okay. So if you don't know and you want to know, just comment below and I can help you to figure that out. Or I can just give you a straightforward answer like, hey, this is going to be a big deal for you or not. It's a work energy. It's letting go. It's a release possibly of a job. And if it's not your job, it could simply be of letting go of some responsibilities. It could be letting go of some sort of ambition or goal that you had in your life. You know, many times we do things and especially having this sort of energy, this is like this Capricorn energy, it's the goat. So we work really hard and, and sometimes we don't know why the hell we put so much into it. It's kind of like that. It's, it's goals, it's ambitions, it's career, it's wanting to be on top, meaning you want to be that person who's like the boss energy. So when you have that get all filled up and you've made your accomplishments, it's like, okay, I finished this. I finished this goal, this ambition. I'm done with it. And so that's a release, but it is in the location of your job. And so you are releasing something and it could be as simple as a completion. Might've been a project at a job, possibly, because it's just a full moon energy. We're not talking like eclipse stuff, which means you could be just making some adjustments here. You could be saying... I'm done with that. I'm finished. I've done all I can do there. Let's move on to the next thing and, and just ramp up new goals for yourself. So now we get towards the end of July and there's another new beginning for you. And this new beginning is about your creative vibe. It has to do with having a good time. It has to do with fun and children and joy. It could even be you going out on a date. It's romance energy. It's, you know, being risky, but with my body. You know, being physically active could be sports, absolutely. Really strong Leo type of energy where I shine in the group, I stand out, and having so much courage. This is this laughter placement. This is your happy place, having a lot of fun. And it could involve children, uh, doing things that you remember when you were a child, things that made you feel like you're a child, feeling young again, and being more in tune with that. This is a new moon, so this is like this new beginning energy. And with the new beginning energy, it's about standing out from the crowd. It's about creatively expressing for Aries. How do I stand out? How do I creatively communicate? How do I have fun, 
have laughter? And do I include children in that? Or are my creations in theater or music? Do I sing? Do I perform in some way? In what way am I artistic? So below the video, I'll have all the degrees for those of you who like to pay attention to the degrees in your chart. Again, if you don't know and you want to know, just comment below.